Pretty quiet overall in the metals quadrant, but gold is giving up a little bit of Friday's gains as the Iran situation goes quiet. The rhetoric is continuing mostly out of the Iranian side. Head of the Revolutionary Guard in Iran said he does not fear a war with the U.S. as the U.S. has gotten uh, no stronger over the last few years. But there's been no action, no military buildup. It's not likely that if action begins, it's going to begin with Iran. It's more likely that it begins with a U.S. ally, potentially even the U.S., and none of that's happening. President Trump, again, said that he would like to negotiate with Iran. Iran says they have no interest in negotiating with the U.S., but that's certainly not any sort of physical military buildup. So a little bit of the flight to safety coming out of gold today. You've also got the gold-silver ratio, which is at its highest levels since 1993, getting above 89 today. Part of that is because of a 1.75% sell-off in silver, but only a half a percent sell-off in gold, not even a half a percent as it got in toward the end of the day. That spread, that ratio is now at 89 to one. That means it takes about 89 ounces of silver to buy one, one ounce of gold. The normal ratio over the long term, which has nothing to do with the day-to-day -day fluctuations, is closer to 50. So we're almost 40 points above that. That tends to be a situation where people sell gold and buy silver. Hasn't happened, but that's what traders are starting to look for in that gold-silver ratio, getting out to those extremes. It has been higher, but that's, again, a long time, 1993, we haven't seen it this high. And then the dollar, of course, inverse relationship to gold when all else is equal. The dollar index is stronger today, but not significantly, about 25 basis points, so about a quarter of 1%. Not really versus the big swings we've saw, two consecutive days lower in the dollar index over the, la the uh, end of last week at the long holiday weekend. Dollars resuming a little bit of that move, but not really enough to call it the main driver of the gold sell-off.